you guys welcome back to my channel vibing after dark underscore it with mo and if you're new to my channel how about hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us and please 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 make sure y'all like this video that helps out a lot and thanks in advance all right you guys this video is going to be about dom in the body she's going on her tiktok and she's explaining what went on at the reunion and how she felt after she got beat up She's deciding to quit and she was saying that nobody checked on her and she feel like she's a good person in real life, but she feel like the rest of the people are not. So this is part one through three and then I'll be uploading the rest of it because it was just that long. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl's out of the body, aka DTB, aka the Servities, because you know that's what I do. So um, I want to make this video today because, you know, I just wanted to kind of give some more insight about like how I'm feeling about the situation about you know just everything in general and uh I figured that sorry they begin a little dry sometimes uh I want to make a video and kind of just talk about just everything in general so I want to start off with um I am not upset about the results of this reunion you know i'm not upset about the fight with the Ziki. i don't regret it i'm not i don't take it back i don't take it back you know what i'm saying uh i knew she was gonna win the fight obviously you know what i'm saying like i'm not retarded <laughs> like i knew she was gonna win but the point was you know for for your entertainment you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew you guys wanted to see her fight. I knew the world wanted to see her fight. And no, I wanted to fight her. And, you know, just being, doing my job, being a reality TV star, entertainer, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I took it upon myself, you know? I, I mean, uh, some people know, some people don't. Like I said, she started with me. You know what I'm saying? I could have ignored it. But at that time, like, okay. This is this is good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where my mind went. I'm like, oh, this is good. You know what I'm saying? Arguing with Ziki, she's fucking famous. Like, that's good marketing for me. It's good promotion for me. So, you know, a lot of things I've done on reality TV is not from a place of malice or just like I'm okay. Sorry guys. Uh I'm not upset at, at the results. I'm not upset at the outcome. What I'm upset about is the lack of compassion that uh people had for me not even just people like my castmates or you know just zeus in general the lack of compassion they have for me after this was done to me you get what i'm saying so it's not the fact that it happened you know fight i got black eyes why might you know like shit happens it's a fight but the lack of concern the lack of sympathy lack of empathy after the situation after i had to leave the set and go to the hospital after my tooth got knocked out, the lack of emotion was like, it was mind blowing. Cause I'm like, like I'm hurt for real. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a difference between reality TV and real life. Like reality TV is not real. Like they think it's real cause it's called reality, but it's not real guys. This is real. Like me leaving and going to the hospital was real. And even before I went to the hospital, they tried to put me back on the stage. They're like, uh, we need you, you know, we need you back on the set. I'm like, I'm, I can't go on the set. I need to go to the hospital. My mouth is cut. Like, my mouth is cut. Oh, my tooth is missing. What do you mean go back on the set? This is real, guys. Like, how do y'all not have a meter between real, like, real life and reality TV? Like, there is a difference. You get what I'm saying? And in real life, like, I'm a good person. You get what I'm saying? Like, I am a good person in real life. So for people to be saying, like, I deserve certain things, you get what I'm saying? Like, oh, you deserve this or you got like, and I'm just like, bro, this shit is not real. Like, why can't y'all understand that none of this is real for me? It's TV. You get what I'm saying? Natalie, it really hurt me when you, like, you're the CEO of this company, of this network. You get what I'm saying? You're the boss. You are the person that runs everything and you claim you care about your people and you you know what i'm saying like the point when your castmate had to leave the set and head to a hospital at that point there should have been a switch like oh shit is she okay you get what i'm saying it should have been a switch like 
did somebody check on Diamond? Like, is she okay? Like, this is not just, this not reality TV no more. This is real. You know what I'm saying? Somebody check on her. Even with Tzatziki, it's like, after you did it, you know what I'm saying? I get it. We're, we're entertaining the people. This is what they wanted. This is what, you know what I'm saying? This is, it's, it's fake. We don't have no beef for real. We don't, like, at least on my end, I don't hate you. So after you did what you did, and then for you to even want to continue fighting me, and then even for you to go online after the situation, after seeing my face, after seeing that picture and laughing and joking about it, it's like, that really let me know that y'all don't have no soul. Y'all don't have, like, y'all, y'all are really a different type of human beings. Y'all don't have no empathy. Like, y'all are not good people. Like, a good person, a good-hearted person would have seen my face, and the first thing that would have came to their mind is, is she okay? Is she okay? Let's laugh about it after, but let me check on her first because something is like, that's, she's in the hospital. She's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a good hearted person and I understand the difference between reality TV and reality. There is a difference. The shit that we do and we put on for you guys is a show. Nobody here has real beef. We don't really hate each other. We don't, besides from the people that know each other before coming on the show, besides the taking a beatball, you know what I'm saying? That's real because they really know each other in real life. Everybody here that just came here, we don't know each other. We don't have no real reason to hate each other and beef with each other. We're doing this for entertainment purposes. We're arguing with each other and making up shit to entertain y'all. So again, like I said, the person that I am, the real, real, real person that I am, not the TV person, not the character that I play. The real person, this, this is the real, this is me. This is my real life. This is off TV. And the fact that y'all cannot distinguish the two really just lets me know that y'all are not good people. And it also let me know that you cannot be a good person and do reality TV. It, it, you can't, you cannot do both. Because let me just give you an example, right? For some of y'all that watch me on other shows, Deja Vu season one, I had a fight with a girl. She got a black eye. She wanted to keep fighting. And I told her, no, I'm like, no, babe, I don't want to fight you. Y'all make fun of me when I call her my babe. And when I'm like, I don't, I don't, my heart is too good. When I seen her, I, I didn't want to continue fighting. And then after she attacked me again, I still didn't hit her. I said, I could be hitting you, but I'm not because the person that I am, the real person, not the reality TV character, the real person that I am felt genuinely bad. I did not want to continue hurting her, not for TV, not for entertainment, because at this point, this is a, this is different. I, that, that switch switched. And I said, okay, this is not reality TV no more. This is real. You get what I'm saying? And if y'all don't have that switch, that, that shows that y'all are not genuinely good people. <clears throat> okay, so like I said, when I did that to her eye, and I looked at her face, and I seen it swelling up, and I immediately was like, no, I'm not fighting you no more. And that's because I am a good person in real life, not for TV, in real life. There's a difference between reality TV and real life. So for, you know, y'all not to have like just a natural, genuine compassion, genuine, like, oh my God, is she okay? Like, are you all right? Like, oh my God, oh, oh my God. Like, for y'all not to have that reaction, for y'all to have a reaction of, ha <laughs> yeah, she deserved it. <laughs> that That's what bothered me. It wasn't what happened to me that bothered me. I didn't cry because it happened, because shit happens in a fight. I cried because of the reaction from my castmates, the lack of reaction from my castmates. And then, with that being said, I, I I started to, you know, I started thinking, like, you know, that's crazy. Like, y'all really hate me. <laughs> like, y'all really hate me in real life. Like, I thought we just not liked each other on TV world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't hate y'all in real life. I don't have no problem with y'all in real life. So when y'all did this, you know what I'm saying, when after it happened and everybody's laughing and joking and putting teeth on a fucking, you know, playing with my tooth, like my tooth that's ripped out the root out of the socket like y'all really hate me and then i'm starting to think like why would y'all hate me i'm such a good fucking person i'm such a nice person i'm such a sweet person like you know everybody loves me like the people that know me love me but y'all really hate me and then i start to think like y'all don't hate me y'all hate the character that i play y'all hate my character that I portray, that I put on for reality TV. The person that I am on reality TV is not the person I am in real life. Like, for example, Natalie. Natalie knew that I didn't have no beef for her for real. 
And I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to tell it all because I just have to. I have to tell my truth. I was never going to fight Natalie. I never had no intentions on fighting Natalie. I called I called Sapphire and told Sapphire to let Natalie know that I was never going to touch her. And I respect her, that she's the boss, and that, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I have a job to do. This is, you know, it's reality TV. So things are looking, you know, a certain way, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to call it out. I'm going to, you know, rah, rah, but let her know that i'm not planning to fight her let her know that i don't have no real issue with her in real life let her know if i see her in club i'm not about to like she don't gotta run like let her know that and she said it before she went and posted it in comments and said like oh sapphire or you call sapphire tell her that you want to fake beef with me yes because yes i do want to fake beef with you because i don't want real beef with you because i don't i don't i don't i don't hate you i don't hate you but i do have a job to do you know what i'm saying this is entertainment i'm here to try to entertain the people me liking you is not entertaining you know what I'm saying? And I, me, I thought you of all people being on TV for 15 years would have understood that and say, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do your shit. You feel me? This is what the people want to see. That's why people watch our show for drama and beef and fights. So, if, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to bring that, do it. You know what I'm saying? Or she could have said, Diamond, leave me the fuck out of it. Honestly, like, I don't want to go that route with you. I like you. You know, you're cool. Like, let's let's not go that route. And I would say, you know what? Now, okay, I respect it. Even when she comments, she's like, oh, she calls Chef D and tells Chef D that she's sorry and she wants to apologize to me. Yes, I don't want no problem with you in real life, Natalie. I don't. And you know that. And you knew that. And so that's why I'm trying to figure out why after I'm real life, I'm hurt in real life. I'm in the hospital in real life. How are you not separating the two and saying, you know what, damn, let me check on Diamond. You know, she's not, a, I don't hate her. She's not terrible. You know what I'm saying? She's doing her job as a cast member, but she's hurt. Like something happened. She got hurt. She got seriously injured. Let me check on her. And then she throw me out there. Fuck it. No, let me check on her first. Let me see if she's okay. Let me just make sure she ain't fucking break her fucking jaw or, you know, some, nothing's infected or, like, the fact that none of these thoughts came to your mind as a person that really let me know that y'all y'all not good people, bro. This is a message from, just so you guys, you know, I always have my receipts. But this is before the reunion. Mm, or the day of the reunion as we were sitting uh i facetimed chef d i told chef d look you know it's the reunion like let me show you the message this is from chef d i said we making up today tell her you get what i'm saying like we're making up today like tell her this is what i texted him because I, I didn't want to fight her i didn't want to argue with her she knows that i don't have no real problem with her in real life even he checked up on me. Hey, I hope you're okay. Seriously. Because that's somebody I know in real life. That's the person that knows me in real life. And knows the person that I am in real life. And actually loves me in real life. And knows that I'm a good person in real life. So he decided to check on me. And that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying nobody got to come to the hospital and hold my fucking hand. But a simple text message. Hey, are you okay? Seriously. This is this is a, a, a good person. You understand what I'm saying? This is somebody that has a heart, that has compassion. That understands the difference between reality TV and reality. Natalie doesn't understand the difference, apparently. I thought she was a better person, but clearly she's not. Clearly, this is the type of person that she is naturally, and that's why she's so good with reality TV, because she's not playing a character. This is her. This is her. This is her. Holding my tooth up in a fucking video after it got knocked out of my face while I'm sitting in the hospital for fucking five, six hours because of a show that I was trying to help you get more ratings. I was trying to help you get build your audience i was trying to make your reunion more entertaining i'm doing this for you and telling you that i don't want no beef with you telling you that hey we're gonna make up today i had a whole fucking speech and everything you get what i'm saying so she knows that and for her to still not even have a simple moment to say damn diamond are you okay before you go on the internet and try to make fun of my physical physical like real life trauma you get what i'm saying so again reality tv is not real guys it's not and i know that a lot of people think it's real because it's called reality but it's not the things that we do on these shows we would never do in real life well some people i don't know about everybody else but this is this is what i'm trying to say me personally it's not real for me when i get on the camera i i i, I get in character okay that's not the real me i don't I, I don't do these things in real life yes it's not real for me because i'm a good person in real life and i the person that i am in real life the things that i've done on these shows i wouldn't have been able to do if I was just being me, like the real me, like me going on a, a hilltop and, and smacking five, three girls back to back. I would never do that in real life. I don't care that much. Like, I don't care if you're friends with her. I'm not fighting nobody because they're friends with the next person. 
absolutely not but guess what this is tv <laughs> this is tv we're doing this for entertainment purposes i do what i do to entertain the fans for the people like none of this shit is real to me bro none of this shit is real to me this is another message just so y'all can see what i'm talking about a lot of people are gonna be upset because they're like damn diamond i thought you was uh, 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 uh. i'm sorry but i'm just i need y'all to understand clearly why i'm making this look at this what that say nunu right let's do our biggest one today we will make up later that was the day of the reunion i was at the reunion i texted her at me and nunu didn't handle me all that shit we was going back and forth on the internet i called her you busy i need to talk to you okay give me a second okay yo then i asked her you by yourself yes facetime me because i didn't want her to you know i didn't want to text too much because i'm like, okay people like to screenshot text messages uh i didn't want to you know call and if i'm on her facetime make sure nobody was around her I told her straight up, let's be like this, us being cool and making up after the show, that don't help you. You know what I'm saying? It don't help me. It looks better at us arguing. You argue on a, we fall on the show, let's argue, in, let's argue on the internet. You get what I'm saying? I told her straight up, look, we don't got no beef, we ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? But let's keep it entertaining. Let's keep it going. Like, let's give the people what they want. Let's give people something to talk about. Because us being cool is not, it don't, it don't help. It don't help. It's not entertaining. Nobody cares if we're friends if we made up. You know what I'm saying? But this is real life right here. This is the real me because the person that I am in real life, I don't have no hate in my heart for nobody. Especially not these people. I don't hate none of these people. I have no problem with Nunu. I have no problem with Kiva. I have no problem with Taseki. I have no problem with Natalie, Broly, Scotty, nobody. I don't know these people. Anything that you've ever heard me say out of my mouth about any of these people, yes, yeah, some of it might be real. And I do be calling out real shit. And I do be saying real shit. But that, I, I do that for entertainment purposes. I don't do that because I hate these people. I don't do that because he's, oh, I fucking hate that bitch. Like, I don't have no hate in my heart for none of these people. It's called entertainment. It's called reality TV. It's not real, guys. It's not real. For me, at least. And like I said, because the person that I am, the good person that I am, don't want to really argue with these people. Now, some people that are really messy people. There are some people that are really, you know, certain type of people. And that's why they thrive in reality TV because they not they don't have to act. They don't have to text people like, hey, let's make beef. Like, they do it for real because <laughs> they don't give a fuck. I'm not that person. I care. I don't want to fight. When I fought Nunu and Kiva, we spoke literally that same night in the club. And I said to both of them, listen, guys, I have no problem with y'all. I did what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? It was a moment. The show was getting a little boring. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to step up and I had to do what I had to do. So don't take it no type of personal way. We cool. And you can ask Kiva and you can ask Nunu. I told both of them that that same night. Because I didn't want them to think that I don't like them. And if you've been listening to the cast members this whole season, they've all been telling you the same thing. Even Dia. Dia went on, oh, Diamond, she's fake. She's everything for Cloud. She apologized to me behind the scenes, off the camera. Yes, I did. Because when I went up there on that hilltop and I smacked you, I didn't, I didn't do that. That wasn't the real me. That was TV me. That was character me. So when we got off the camera, I wanted to express my sorry. Like, I didn't mean to. Like, I don't... It bothers me to do these things, but I understand that this is for TV and I have to because this is what y'all want to see. I do everything I do to entertain the people. Bianca, I apologize to her. I apologize to her the same day. I didn't want to do that. I didn't feel like that didn't make me happy. I don't like hurting people. I don't like violence. I don't like negativity. I don't like drama. My real life is so unproblematic. Everything that is have to do with negative negativity, drama, all that shit, it's from TV. And to me, it's not real. Like, in my mind, I'm just like, oh, yeah, you know, trolling. Like, this is fun. Do you know how much people, when the Tzatziki situation was happening, it's like, oh, um, bring up her, you know, whatever allegations that her sister said. Like, bring that up. Bring that. Call her. Whatever. And I, I, every single time somebody said that to me, I ignored it. Because I'm like, that's real. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's her personal, like, real life. I don't ever want to... You know what I'm saying? Get into nothing real. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep it very surface level. I don't want to talk about my real, real life. And even when the Julia situation happened, it was brought to my attention, I apologized immediately because that's real. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, let me get out of her real personal life and get just, you know, get back to the surface level trolling because I don't hate you. If I hated you, I would be saying every single thing that everybody on the internet has sent to me. I don't say certain things because I'm like, that's real. Even when Natalie... I never spoke about your kids. I never spoke about, you know, your husband or your situation with, you know, cheating allegations. Like, I don't speak on that shit because that's real. They don't have nothing to do with reality TV. You know what I'm saying? Reality TV? Oh, yeah, you're a hater. You're conscious. You're this, you're that. Absolutely. We, and nothing that I ever posted about Natalie was not public and for fucking nation. Anytime I spoke about Natalie was from the show, from recapping the show. She said something about me. She called me and more. She did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm keeping it very surface level because I don't hate you in real life. You know what I'm saying? tv world real tv real i understand the difference for me and that's why i said again i can't this and this is why i said i can't do reality tv anymore and why i say she ended my reality tv career because it really woke me up like this right here woke me up to understand that i'm the only one playing here i'm the only one that, that that's not taking this shit serious everybody else is dead serious y'all really hate me 
Y'all really don't like me. Y'all really, you know what I'm saying, want to hurt me for, for, for me playing around. All the videos, I'm at the boxing gym. I'm falling and doing, like, that's funny. Like, I'm playing. Like, this is not real to me. You get what I'm saying? Going, like, talking my shit. Like, okay, uh, 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 we talking shit. It's not real. It's entertainment. I went into this situation with Tzatziki knowing that this is this would be big for the network, for baddies, for me, for her. Her fans want to see it. My fans want to see it. My, You know what I'm saying? The, the world would like to see this. So I'm going to, like, let's do it. If I could have called her and said, yo, let's do this shit. Turn up. You know what I'm saying? Don't hit me too hard. Let's get on the show and be done with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, no be for real. But after this, we're going to be done with it. Click. I would have loved to do that. I would have loved to do that. But that's why I say other people are not as good hearted as me. When I do stuff like that, they try to clown me and be like, oh, she always just trying to do stuff to go viral. Oh, just be real. Oh, just do that. Just, you get what I'm saying? And I be, keep trying to explain to y'all, I can't be real because the real person in me is a fucking nice ass fucking person. I'm too nice. If I was real, I wouldn't be with nobody. If I was real, I would be on this cast and everybody would be my friend because that's how I am in real life. So certain situations, I have to just do what I have to do because when I try to fake it, people try to downplay me for being fake. You get what I'm saying? Like, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing no fake beef over here. All this shit is fake.